long will we have to stay down here? 35 years. 35 years? What is it? The sky! Shall we dance? He does a great big cosmo. Welcome to Screen Recaps. And today we are going to recapping the movie Blast from the Past. All American households are urged to build a covert fallout shelter in 1962 as the Soviet Union draws near. Calvin Weber is among them. He enclosed the backyard with a bomb shelter. He thinks that things will get worse during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Helen, his pregnant wife, follows him into the shelter. That is when a plane crashed into their house. Calvin believes the bombing to be precisely what he predicted. The locks on the shelter are automatically activated shortly after that, having been designed to open for 35 years. Calvin makes the decision to wait out the radioactive contamination's half-life by spending the next 35 years in this steel bunker. Both the neighbors and the authorities thought the Webbers had perished in the collision. Calvin helps Helen give birth to their son Adam underground while she is in the shelter. He put the knowledge he had previously self-prepared to use because he turned the base into a fully functional area. Calvin is a genius. They have plants, TV reruns, electricity, and everything else. The shelter also has a sizable mall and a fish tank, providing the family with enough food for many years. Day by day, Adam is a nurse and his parents love. Above the shelter, a cafe is constructed in 1965. Adam begins to dream of life on the surface in the meantime. He learns science, martial arts, sports, and even politics from Calvin. Conversely, Helen imparts more social skills, dancing, gentlemanly manners, and attractive girls to the boy. The cafe is converted into a pizzeria in 1975. Adam is taught various languages and stock markets by Calvin downstairs. Adam seems to be a comic genius with a wonderful sense of humor. Adam receives his baseball cards from Calvin, which are said to be limited edition. Finally, the year of 1997 has come after 35 years hidden. The experience of the shelter facility drastically declined. Additionally, the auto luck mode is deactivated. After all these years, the family enjoys this wonderful moment together as they prepare to go on the surface. On a typical day, there is an abrupt trembling of the ground. The two men on the streets perceive it as just another earthquake. But Calvin emerges from the ground in a radiation suit just as expected. The homeless man is shocked to see him. Calvin finds it unbelievable that his home has turned into a deserted bar. Strangely, what he sees in the current world changes to something he never could have imagined. When he comes back to the surface, he comes across a lot of dubious people and situations. Calvin informs Helen and Adam later at the base that the humans were irradiated mutants. There is still a risk of returning to the ground world. Calvin chooses to remain underground. Helen becomes insane over this. She is adamant about not wanting to remain in the shelter any longer. Calvin has a heart attack out of the blue and gets very sick. Additionally, the supplies are running low. Helen believes it would be best to buy everything they require and send Adam to the ground. For the first time ever, Adam packs everything he needs to leave the shelter. Adam is warned by Calvin not to go to the adult bookstore since it has poisonous gas that cannot be seen. The homeless man is surprised to see Adam again. For the first time, Adam can't wait to see the real sky. Adam becomes alarmed as he passes the adult store and immediately turns around believing it to be toxic. Adam keeps talking on the bus based on his conceptual understanding, but it's clear that this isn't how things work in the real world these days. People stare at him angrily and assume he's crazy. At last, Adam makes it to the grocery store a butcher who believes he can deliver food to Adam's house if Adam places a big order. Adam knows at this point that he doesn't know how to get home. He keeps looking for the abandoned house where his shelter is located. As running out of cash, Adam thinks it is a good idea to sell his father's classic baseball cards. The shop owner learns Adam is Silly Man who offers the valuable cards for a surprisingly cheap price. Adam meets Eva, a shop's assistant, Eva helps Adam to expose the cheat owner. She tells Adam that each of his card costs at least $6,000, not $500 for the whole box. Adam develops feelings for Eva quickly. After escorting Adam out of the store, Eva leaves her desk job. He reveals to Eva that he is from Alaska during their conversation. Adam offers two rare cards to Eva, unaware of the amount of money, so she can take him to the hotel his mother has instructed him to stay at. Feeling guilty, 
Eva chooses to give Adam the cards back the next day. Eva agrees to assist Adam in purchasing supplies in two weeks. Every week, she'll make $1,000. Eva and Adam buy the items Helen listed every day. Adam will keep the supplies in storage for a period of two years. Eva is also asked to assist him in finding a wife. It should be Pasadena, California, where that woman is. A Pasadena woman is not a mutation, in accordance with his mother's advice. Adam is trained to drive in order to obtain a wife. Additionally, Eva asks her gay friend Troy for fashion advice for Adam's makeover. Adam has been hankering after to go skating in the shelter, so Eva and Troy take him out. Adam then gets the opportunity to go for his first swim in the ocean. In reality, he enjoys watching live baseball games and finds rain showers miraculous. Ava becomes his first best friend and they go to a disco where Adam impresses a woman with his French conversation and dancing skills. Ava becomes jealous and reunites with her ex-boyfriend Cliff and Adam interrupts their conversation. Cliff attacks Adam, but Adam's boxing skills help him overpower Cliff. Ava leaves Adam at the bar and Troy finds her worried at home. She goes out to search for Adam. Adam surprises Ava and she injures her knee. As he tends to her injury, they confess their true feelings for each other. Adam rejected other women because he only had eyes for Eva. Adam experiences his first kiss and decides to share his true identity with Eva, revealing his family's life in a shelter. He hopes to bring Eva to the shelter and live there together, but she dismisses his story as madness and sends him away. Adam eventually discovers the abandoned bar where his shelter is located and rushes to tell Ava. However, she introduces him to a psychologist, believing he is mentally ill. Adam sadly bids farewell to Ava and Troy, but later escapes from the doctors and reunites with his parents in the bunker. Troy and Ava realize that Adam is not crazy when they find his belongings from the 60s in his hotel room. A homeless man offers to help Adam load supplies into the shelter, and others join in before Adam is caught by the mental center. Troy finds valuable IBM stock certificates, confirming Adam's honesty. He takes Eva to find Adam and find him just in time. They embrace and kiss. Meanwhile, Calvin prepares to lock his family in the shelter again for a 10 years. Adam introduces Eva to his parents, and they bond. Adam needs time with Eva to sell stocks, so his parents agree to stay in the locked shelter for two months. During this time, Adam and Eve sell his father's stocks, later builds them a new home. Adam reveals their old one was destroyed by a plane crash, not an atomic war. Calvin remains skeptical and plans to build a new shelter while Eve watches him and plays with her engagement ring. I thought I was good.